what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Cool. Today, guys, we're back again to new video, guys. Today, I'm here with my special guest, my pastor, my counselor, my guardian. A <laughs> lot more, guys. He's here. Please introduce yourself. My name is Pastor Silas, and I'm here with the Perseverance. Yep. Yeah. Today is a unique creation. This message to Muslim by Peter St. Jordan. I really do like this man. Uh, I just want to hear his words about Muslim, the message you want to share to Muslim with my pastor. So, We'll get to know more about what you want to see and also give our feedback to it. So let's get into the video. Hi all. I have been informed by many sources and also observed online, not least because of my discussions with a variety of Muslim thinkers, supporters and critics, that I have developed an audience in the Muslim world. I would first like to say that I could not be more pleased or honored that such is the case. It has been so heartening to see that my biblical lectures, for example, attracted a large Muslim audience, and that the comments from the Muslim watchers and listeners to my YouTube channel and podcast have been so extraordinarily positive. And all this is lovely to see in the aftermath of the extraordinary Abraham Accords which have laid out the possibility for peace between all the people of the book in an unprecedented manner. And I have something to say as an extension of all of this. Please forgive my presumption, if you would. It is time for those of you in the Muslim world to stop fighting among yourselves, you Shiites and Sunnis, and also time to stop regarding the Christians and even more specifically, the Jews as your enemies. Why? Not least because you have the enemy located in the wrong place. First, the best place to find Satan, let's say, is within. If you think the true enemy is in someone else's heart, then you haven't thought nearly long enough about the darkness within and you have therefore fallen prey to the most subtle temptation of the ancient demonic spirit. So your best bet on the spiritual warfare front is to make of yourself and your Muslim practice something so admirable that the light shining from your well-constituted psyches and productive, generous and wise actions is so intense that people convert to your faith from sheer admiration. There's a goal. Second, far more unites you with the other people of the book, as your own prophet himself, peace be unto him, forthrightly said, than what divides you. You all believe, for example, in a book. You all believe, for example, in God, and believe that you have an ultimate duty to that God. You are all followers of a prophetic tradition. And that is a tradition that unites the wisdom of the past with the vision and voice of those willing to see and speak truly and lovingly in the present. And you are all threatened in a very real sense by the system of vengeful Luciferian ideas that currently confronts all that is transcendent, traditional and valuable on the sexual front, on the familial front on the conceptual front, on the psychological and sociological front, and, in the final analysis, on the theological front. So, how about we all quit squabbling over trinkets and details and face the real problem? And I should also point out that it is not the individual carriers of the woke politically correct, degenerate, neo-Marxist ideas that should be regarded as the enemy either. First, 
We must take the idea that the satanic impulse within is the prime enemy with all due seriousness. Second, we must understand that even those quite possessed by the spirit of Cain that attracts and drives confused and lost people to the Luciferian ideologies of the materialist utopians are, in the ideal, fully redeemable and only partially consumed. Even the committed student ideologues who have, for example, attacked me and others like me rather viciously are generally, say, 90% or perhaps 80, reasonable and potentially civilized people who could still see the light. Muslims, reach across the sectarian divide. Shiites, find a Sunni pen pal. Communicate with someone on the other side. Sunnis, do the same. And then, maybe, reach out tentatively to a Christian or even, heaven forbid, a Jew. Because perhaps it is time for those who purport to be followers of God to act like it and to be convincing in those actions, even to those whose premature cynicism and skepticism have driven them into the towers of Babel constructed by the avatars of the resentful intellect. Is there someone in the Muslim world willing to build an electronic system to bring people from the Sunni and Shiite community together? A place where people of goodwill could reach electronically across the divide, person to person, and to formulate the kinds of personal, trusting friendships upon which a lasting peace truly might be founded? A place where Jews and Christians, willing and eager to open communication with their Muslim brothers, might do just that? There's a task for someone looking for a purpose, and it's an open invitation to do just that. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, get in touch with me. You'll figure out how to do it, and I'll publicize it. Thank you all my Muslim listeners, watchers, and readers for your kind attention and patience. I wish you well as you strive to become the light in the world that your faith truly demands. Let's see if we can unite as people of the book and negotiate our way toward the paradise that we might truly and jointly attain. <laughs> This was a lot. <laughs> this wow. was a lot. I love grammars. Yeah, a lot of I just want to have a pizza scene. Like, he's a psychologist. Okay. He's a very good man. Like, he has his own, he don't, his own ideology. He don't allow people's narrative or perspective of life be his own. Mm. He gets. Mm. And I love his contribution about life. He don't believe in transgender, like you call a male turning into a female as a real woman. To him, it's not a real woman mm. because you don't have the organ of a female. Mm. So his own perspective of things, it's, it's, it's very, very good. Well, it's true because, I mean, God did not create Adam and, Adam and Steve. He created Adam and Eve. Eve. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, he made mention of materialists and a lot of things. Yeah. Basically, I think um, it's time for us to... And, I think I would like to send this out to also to this may be my message to Christians to believers. If um you are named the name of Christ, if you are named the name of the Lord, then you must actually in action exhibit it. Yeah, that's true. I think Peter I saw he, he kept on um, referring to the fact that okay, if you claim your God is a God of peace, mm. it's not just in the words. It's in the doing, it's yeah, in the, the action. action. Because forgive me to say, but we are in a world today where a lot of people profess, okay, my my um in my religion we are not violent, but then reverse is the case. We see um series of violent acts being pioneered by these so-called people that claim okay they are peace, even among even among people that call themselves Christians. You see um, a Christian um Christian just does decide, okay, I want to be a gay, I want to be a lesbian, and you know, and they're okay, and they go to church. 
And it's time for us to, if God has standards, God has principles. And I, I would like to say this very quickly. God, God works with principles. God deals with us with principles. And these principles are, the, you don't have to, you don't even have to be a, a Christian for these principles to work for you. Yeah. For instance, the principle of um, seed time and harvest. It's time. Yeah, it happens to everyone. If an unbeliever goes to sow his seed, he will definitely mm-hmm. reap a harvest. Is that one. The rain that falls, it falls on both the good everyone. and the bad. The sun that shines, shines on both the good and the bad. There are certain principles of just there are principles of giving and sowing, sowing and reaping. It happens for everyone. So there are there are principles, and it's it's, it's heartbreaking that um, we that claim to be Christians that Jesus said, "Let your light so shine." He said, "Let your light shine in the church." He said, "Let your light so shine before men." that they may see your good works. They didn't say they will see your good words. They didn't say they will hear your good words. He said they will see your good works. Your actions, what your you are actions, doing. What you are doing, and then they will it's glorify true. your Father, which is it's in true. heaven. And this morning, I think I was just pondering a lot of things, and then I, I stumbled on the fact that, I stumbled on this particular scripture that said, ye are the sort of the earth. Yeah. Then he said, if the sort loses its savour, it's not worthy to be used. Hmm. It should be thrown down. Okay. Many of us, the reason why even our families don't even respect the fact that respect our decision of um, our belief is because they are not seeing the fruit of it. Hmm. They are not seeing the work of it. They are not seeing the action. They are just seeing you only come and talk, 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 but a few minutes later you are doing something totally opposite of what you said. And that's what Peterson was addressing. A lot of, a lot of, even in the world today, everybody talks, everybody takes up the fact that, oh, in my religion, we are people of peace. In my religion, we are people of both. Even, even, I'm talking about even in the Christian, even in Christianity, we have a lot of divisions. People fighting each other over church members, mm-hmm. over money, over landed property and all that. Yeah. I mean, what is the world? God hasn't called us to be that. Materialistic. Materialistic. It's really not good. Yeah. It was it was making a point of Muslims seeing Christians as their enemy, just kind of like the spetses. We are we are Christians are not your enemy. We are not, not at no, no. all. Christians and 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 the enemies. Yeah, according to the previous video we watched about who is Allah, mm-hmm. you see, according to the way they describe Allah is how God is, is mm-hmm. God of signs and wonders, is God of miracles, and uh, Peterson coming to tell you. We are not fighting against each other. There is a spiritual battle beyond, exactly. oh, beyond you, our physical eye that we ought to be putting more effort and prayers and putting more effort into, not your physical man or physical remember, remember, yeah. remember Genesis, Genesis 3 spoke about the fact that the serpent will always be at war with the woman yeah. and her seed. That's it said the, the, the serpent will bruise her heel, the woman's seed will crush the serpent's head. Mm. So that, um, that word, bruise her heel. Now, when we talk about bruising her, it talks about pains. Mm. I, I don't know if you had a, if you had a cut on your knees before. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know how painful it is. It so it talks about the fact that the devil will attack us with suffering. Mm. We attack humanity with pains. We attack humanity with persecution. Mm. Attack humanity with troubles. So the sooner we recognize that the enemy is actually a spirit being, the better for us. That's, that's because true. even in families, you see that person who is doing a lot of evil things. It's not, it's not that individual. It's a spirit. It's a spirit in that person. Learn how to fight spiritually, not on the physical. That's and that's why the world, keep the, honestly, those that know this truth, they will tell you most of the battles we are fighting in the world today, we are fighting it in the wrong way. You are tackling it physically. Meanwhile, it's something that is more of spiritual that we need to, you know, look at a common... We all have a common enemy. But you see, the enemy... The um, Paul talk about the fact that um, the devil works with strategies. He works with tactics. So don't be ignorant of the tactics of the enemy. Mm. Don't be ignorant. Say the weapons of our warfare are not, are not carnal. Mm. They are not flesh. 
See, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers, the wickedness in high places. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal; they are mighty to God, to the pulling down of strongholds. They are not; they are not; they are not carnal. So, the sooner we stop looking at the physicality and start tackling the spirituality, the better the life, because the spiritual always controls the physical. That's true. So, it's true. This was an amazing message from Peter Sin, and I really do like it. He was not basically. Let me. See. He's talking to Muslim, but he's also like trying to refer to to Christians because yes. we ought to we ought to change our own perspective and way of life. Mm. We should mimic. We should be like Christ-like. Yes, the God we claim to profess. profess. Let's we truly act like, act like him. Yeah, that's true. And I learned a lot from what his message is. And my personal clarifying everything means a lot. This was really beautiful watching this video. I'm also having you here. I'm wow. really happy. I mean, it's and it's today means today today is a lot. It's a, today is a lot. We covered a lot of videos. And I am pleased I got clarification. I get to go back to my Bible and read some scriptures and get more knowledge. And it's very, very good and very vital. And also I would like to add, please, if you like to um have a truth, have a knowledge of yeah. what we're discussing. It's a person. His name is Jesus. His yeah. name is Jesus, and it's just—it's not a—it's not a rocket science. It's something you just do within minutes, within seconds. It's A B C. You accept, you believe, and you confess. A B C. Accept Jesus, you believe mm -hmm. Jesus, and you confess Him. That's all you need. God bless you. Yeah. Right. So, guys, comment down below. Subscribe to our channel, guys. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. I just bought a bag. Like an old lady I'm back wood smoking I don't own papers Pass that 808 That don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed I got scales all